All right, what do we got? We got an Acer OEM logo. That's already a great start. Of the <laughs> All right, good day, folks. I uh, apologize for the wind noise. It's pretty windy outside today. I mean, it's very, very windy. So I'm gonna see if I can like try to cup the mics as best as I can. So you'll have to forgive me if the audio is crap. Anyways, so the local thrift store, actually, I know the owner very well. He got some storage units recently, of which actually contained a couple of computers that he wanted me to take a look at for him. And, well, here they are on the little bench here. But before I take them inside, I'm going to clean them up because they are absolutely filthy. Especially this one over here, of which, yikes, that's pretty nasty. And particularly this. Like, I don't even want to know what kind of horrors lie inside, but I'll be curious to see if either of these work. So he's like hoping that I can clean them up and restore them or whatever. Well, quite frankly, I think they're too old for what he's going to be able to do with them. So I'll probably just, you know, in exchange for these, maybe some cash, I'll get him a much better system. That way he can actually like, you know, sell it in a store. But again, before we get these things in the house and even check them out, I have to clean these things out. So I'm going to go grab a duster can to at least get the loose dust cleaned out of that one in particular because I don't want to make a mess in my house, my rooms. It just blew the power supply fan in that Acer there. I don't know, maybe I'll leave these things out in the wind, maybe they'll clean themselves. Uh, jokes on the, jokes on the Alright, let's go take care of this stuff. Alright, hopefully this doesn't knock over, but it's likely going to, so, you know, we'll hit The uh, wind did knock over the little tripod here that my grandma apparently wanted to uh, get for the phone. So this Acer actually doesn't look too bad on the inside. Looks like the RAM has definitely not been upgraded. It's got one gig in it, so that'll be fun. Meanwhile, uh, this one over here, uh, <laughs> actually it's not too bad. It's definitely older, that's for sure. But um, yikes, that intake is g -rose. So, I'm going to have to blow that sucker out. So what lies inside this one? At least without turning on. It's got half a gig of RAM. This looks like... God, what socket is this? Does it say on the board? Or can I read that? Because my guess, socket A. And this has got to be socket A. There's no way it wouldn't be. There's a bolting cap there. Not the side panel that's still over. Are those designed to be that way? No, that's a visual perception. They're fine. Because it looks like all of those there are bloating their tops, but I can't quite tell. That could just be how they're designed. Then there's a hard drive down here. It's an IDE drive. Um, looks like it's got some kind of a quick release system. I can't quite get it with one hand anyway. I'm going to guess like a 40 to 80 gig drive maybe. No floppy drive. But it does have a card reader on the front that's absolutely gross. And this one's supposed to have some kind of an Athlon 64X2 in it. Uh, AM2, I think, because it looks like it's got DDR2 memory, so it is semi-modern, but not much. It says 8-channel audio down there. Yeah, I, I believe that if I see it. It does have a Wi-Fi card in it. Sorry about the bad camera work. It's so windy out here, it's awful. And a 250-gig hard drive that looks original. Probably because it is original. Okay, well, without further ado, let's have some fun with the old duster can, and uh, yeah, this is going to be like the stuck on dust kind of dust. I don't know, there's a little bit of loose dust in here. Not much though. I just noticed this case is so cheap. Only one of the USB ports exists on the front. Nice. All right, well, I'm not going to bore you all dusting these things out. I'll just show the aftermath because it's, it's bad. I want to get out of this wind.
Well, they're not perfect. Didn't think they were going to be perfect anyway, but they're certainly a lot better than they were, particularly this other one over here. It's still definitely got some grime, so I'm going to run over the case with another wipe just to see if I can actually clean off a lot of this oxidization that looks to have appeared on the case. It, more specifically on the back of both of these, I think because they were stored in some kind of a humid environment, I'm not doing that with the other one there because I'm not going to try to scratch the table, but they have a lot of this corrosion on the back, which is unfortunate, but that makes sense based on if they were stored outside. They're not the most elegant. But this Acer definitely turned out all right, I guess, for what it is. The other one, on the other hand, it's still definitely got some grime. And uh, is this a cover? Oh, ooh, that's uh, good. I'm going to have to grab another paper towel to clean that off. But uh, Northgate, huh, never heard of that manufacturer before or OEM. Probably a case manufacturer. It looks like this is probably some kind of um, uh, pre-built by some company, probably someone local. Either way, um, yeah, I have no idea what model number that's supposed to pertain to, but this one definitely fared worse. I took the air duster can once it had settled down, kind of the back of this thing, and I don't know, maybe it will, uh, maybe it'll clean up a little more over time. Yeah, that's just gross. But I'm, a, I'm kind of anxious now to just turn these things on, see if they even do anything. So I don't know, cross your fingers, I guess. Okay, so let's get started with the least interesting of the two being this Acer Aspire. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug in the power cable. Okay, no auto power on, at least it doesn't seem like it. So that's good. I'm going to go ahead and switch the input off my uh, Mac Mini. And let's uh, see if this thing actually does anything and I go to power it on here. Well, that's a good sign. Of course, I got one of these like little dinky keyboards here, so... Obviously, who knows? I haven't seen anything yet. Hmm. Interesting. Well. Huh. Looks like we're gonna have to get into some troubleshooting here. Okay, I reseated the RAM. Let's see if that works. Hard drive spins up at least, that's good. Oh, hey, we got it. That was easy. Just gotta reseat the RAM. CMOS checks and error, defaults loaded. Warning, now system is in safe mode. Please resetting CPU frequency in the CMOS setup. Well, I'll make sure I do that then. I'll make sure I resetting my frequency. Or maybe not, I guess it's gonna start loading into its operating system. I must have pressed the wrong key. All right, good good deal. We got Windows Vista starting up. <laughs> I do like that little mirror finish top. I don't know, just something about it. Just it looks really classy for 2007, which isn't really saying much, but you know, I just love these old machines for what they are. Oh, dang. Dang, that was fairly effortless. I'm gonna point the camera away because I have no idea what's gonna come up on the screen. And I don't feel like showing any kind of racy imagery if it just so happens to show up because you just never know. Okay, it looks like we're actually safe to show the desktop here. Got a little flowery image on it. And it's definitely been used at least somewhat recently because it's got the Google Chrome icon sitting down there in the taskbar. We've got some other shortcuts on here too. Uh, we've got Skype. And you got computer with a weird logo on it. I don't know what that's about. You got Spider Solitaire, Solitaire, Mahjong Titans. We got C Cleaner and you got an Acer folder. Hmm. Kind of a curious setup. This is probably going to take a little while to start up because this is Windows Vista on one gig of RAM and I have no idea what's set to run on startup. So we might be here a while. Oh, actually, I do have a, uh, I have a mouse at least. Got Adaware antivirus, nice. Oh, and the system decides it wants to install a driver for something that already had a driver, you stupid. Now listen to that hard drive go. Nice clunking away in there. And it's been a couple of minutes now and we are still loading. Oh my goodness, this thing is horribly slow. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I know why, it's because it's 
got Adware antivirus and it's trying to load the Windows sidebar. And it's only got one gig of RAM and it's trying to load Skype as well. <laughs> This thing's got just a lot of stuff running in the background for it. All right, what do we got? We got an Acer OEM logo. That's already a great start. With the... <laughs> okay, with that out of context crap out of the way, um, we have uh, AMD Athlon 64 X2 at uh, 2.1 gigahertz. It's a 4,000 plus. And we got a single gigabyte of RAM running Windows Vista 32-bit. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> the name of the computer <laughs> wow that really oh that was something oh that is a brilliant windows experience index score 2.4 gee i can't imagine i don't want to know what that's all about right gaming graphics i figured that was the case because this has some kind of integrated graphics and apparently it was last rated on april 11th 2012 at an oddly specific 12 20 and 20 seconds at p.m hmm very interesting. Okay, our devices are ready to use. Well, isn't that just wonderful? It's basically our trackpad and keyboard combination. So let's see what we got installed on this thing's hard drive. Well, apparently it's got Windows Live uh, Essentials 2011 installed. That's actually not too shabby. Either that or it's 2010, it's one of the two. Got Firefox, Internet Explorer 9. We have some kind of a chat messenger program. Uh, da, 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 da. It's got all the original Acer stuff on there, of course. E Sobe V2. Did that come with a computer when it was new? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, free opener. Don't even know what that's about. Google Chrome, Java, LibreOffice, a uh, bunch of other stuff. We got Silverlight M Player. I think that's like one of those alternative media players or something that's supposed to add more codecs. Play a lot games. Uh, it's got some client PDF creator. That looks like some kind of um, thing you'd find on an advertisement online, maybe not. I don't know what uh, the manufacturer, developer rather, of that program is. I didn't even check to see um, how big the hard drive is or how much is full of it. Oh, it's Acer and their stupid thing where they partition the drive into two partitions. I never understood why they've done this. It's like you have this like you have this hard drive that's got all this capacity, and yet here we are, we're just splitting it in two. So you have a data partition and a system volume. Well, then guess what ends up happening? Nothing gets used over on this other partition, and then people wonder why their disk fills up so dang quick. It's like, I've never understood that. Never have understood why that's the case. Anyways, um, this is not connected to the internet, so I guess there's no harm, no foul if I open up Google Chrome, because that's going to be an entertaining laugh, if anything else. So I guess we'll do that because it seems like we got a lot of women's uh, like artistic stuff on here. A lot of pictures and stuff, uh, bright and colorful and whatever. So I guess I'm going to uh, not show this on camera because I have no idea what is going to come up once again. Um, let's see. We got Facebook. That's a great start. MSN.com. We got YouTube. Eco Mobile. Huh. Was that like their cell phone plan that they used? I don't think I want to know. Uh, we got a couple of YouTube bookmarks, my eBay summary. Oh, geez. So they must have been using eBay. And looks like a couple of other things in there that really aren't worth pointing out because let's just face it, there's probably somebody else's bookmarks on here. Apparently, they were set to have two Google homepages. I don't know why. This definitely looks like an ancient version of Chrome, though, because it's got the old dinosaur, the unable to connect to the internet thing, and the more button. I have. Shouldn't have shown that. Uh, there was an email that was, uh, yeah, shouldn't have opened that menu up. Let's see what version of Chrome this is running here. Oh, it's running Chrome 31. Wow, that's old because uh, the newest version that was installed for Vista and XP was Chrome 49. So I guess that makes sense in some kind of way. Uh, do I dare want to go and look through the rest of this thing's hard drive? I don't know. What version of C Cleaner were they running before they got rid of this computer? I imagine that's pretty old. Oh yeah, C Cleaner version 4. Man, look at that interface. Who remembers that? Apparently they have a new version available. Well yeah, no wonder the integrated graphics were awful. Uh, NVIDIA GeForce 6100 and Force 405. So yeah, that's definitely a, another era for this thing. All right, I'm gonna do a dumb and I'm gonna dive into the pictures folder. There's a folder called screen pics? What's even in here? Oh, oh a lot of things. Oh, it's like those crappy Facebook memes that you saw way back in the early 2010s. Huh. 
okay and they were kind of mixed in with the a uh, couple of the sample photos there is a couple of things in the documents folder i'm gonna have to erase off so that's fun they did have uh music not very much just a couple songs but they were definitely uh <clears throat> legitimately acquired to put it that way oh somebody used a uh, tumblr um, makes sense i guess i don't know do i dare want to know what else is on this thing's hard drive <laughs> Okay, good, no videos. Uh, some kind of executable there. Uh, what was in the downloads folder? A couple things were in here. A couple of antivirus installers because you can't have enough of those. Got the AVG PC tune-up tool. Got a Skype installer, Java installer. Email notifier, uh, I don't know what that's about. MSN chat messenger, oh my goodness, wow. A lot of uh, <clears throat> questionable things. Couple Silverlight installers and a video downloader. Mm -mm. And then I'm gonna close out of this system thing because oh, we don't need to be showing that. So it's not particularly quick right at the moment, just because well, let's face it, it hasn't been turned on in like several years, and it's also not really in the best of shape. But at least the Acer power's on, so you know what? I'll give it that. So is this disk drive open? Heck yeah, it does. Cool. Looks like they didn't even leave a disc in there for me to have to make fun of. Well, there we go. Well, there's the Acer Aspire. And I think I'm just using the mouse from my Mac Mini. Why am I doing that? Um, I think, yeah, we're going to go ahead and shut this down. And let's go bring the other one up here on the desk. And let's see what we can do with it. Because, well, I mean, we can only poke so much fun in an old Acer Aspire. This one will likely get restored back to OEM. We'll have to see what happens with uh, what's on the hard drive. But I can guarantee you this much, it's not going to stay on this install because it's definitely full of a bunch of garbage. And uh, yeah, so let me go get the other computer. We'll get that hooked up and check her out and see if it works. All right, I'll be honest with you all. I'm kind of nervous about this one because, well, let's just face it, it's really dirty still. But I've got everything hooked up other than the power cord. So let's have at it. Okay, no obvious explosions, thank God. All right, here we go. Ah, dirty CPU fan is gonna drive me absolutely crazy. But it did post, hey, let's go. Got that wind fast motherboard. <laughs> Quality. Ah, uh, date and time's reset. Oh, hey, we got an 80 gig hard drive. Nice, that is awesome. I'm always in the lookout for some hard drives like that. Super boot. Well, that's a feature, I'm not gonna touch it though. Uh, I guess let's check the temperatures real quick. Oh, yeah, I'd guarantee you this is probably an old Athlon XP. It's already running at 43 degrees. <laughs> I guarantee you that's probably what this has is an Athlon XP. Okay, well, let's see if she starts up into an operating system. Probably not going to be particularly fast if it's got... Oh, yeah, called that one. Athlon XP 2500 plus and 512 megs of RAM. Okay. Floppy disk fail, because there's probably nothing in here. That's fine, I'll just continue for now. Not like you would remember if I were to set that in the BIOS because the CMOS battery's dead. Same thing as the uh, Acer Aspire. <laughs> oh, there it goes, it's starting up. Oh, this one's definitely got Windows XP installed, to nobody's surprise. Or, okay, it is booting up. Okay, I thought for a moment it was like frozen, but no, it's it's just slow. No, I don't want to run disk check, but I can't skip the disk check. Ah, oh, good old Windows XP. Ah. Hopefully this doesn't take 500 years because I kind of want to not use this thing because it's really annoyingly loud. All right, while well, that annoying thing keeps doing its disk check, I'm going to grab my coffee because I forgot out here in the kitchen. <sighs> Don't mind the mess. I've been working on a lot of projects lately, not the least of which is some PC stuff. All right, this thing is probably going to need a repaste on the CPU because, well, it's already spun up the CPU fan and it sounds uh, pretty loud. Oh, and I gotta restart the computer. Ugh. Okay, luckily I'll give it this. There's no bad sectors that Windows picked up on the hard drive. So that's good. I'm just wondering what 
right, disc check failure on the floppy drive. I'm just wondering, like, what would I use this old Athlon XP for? Um, and more specifically, if I got to reinstall Windows, where the heck am I going to get the drivers for this motherboard? So that's going to be fun. But um, hopefully, uh, you know, this thing can be salvaged or resurre resurrected in some way. We'll see. I just got to get into the desktop first if, uh, if we can even get there. Oh, we might just be getting somewhere. Hey, Windows is starting up. Nice. Um, I'm betting you this has got a password on it. It's, it has to. Oh my goodness, it is taking a while to start up. Oh no, there's no password on it. All right, I gotta, I gotta put the camera away. It's got plus on it, I can tell you that much. It's got the plus like mouse cursor, yep. And that's the sound effect. Yep, this has plus on it, I guarantee you it does. Okay, this looks like just the plus theme, so it's probably fine to show, but we definitely have some interesting curiosities on the desktop here, not the least of which is the Bitdefender antivirus thing. We also have old Logitech webcam software, so that's interesting. Uh, we got Skype up there, um, DDU. I'm not sure if that is actually a display driver uninstaller or if that's something else entirely that uses the same acronym. I couldn't tell you. Uh, old Google Chrome setup for some reason. Uh, old version of Firefox is probably what's installed. Uh, and it looks like just some other stuff. But uh, I definitely won't be able to use this until Windows installs the driver for the mouse. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how long that's going to take. So, I'm just going to let that have its fun and I will return once I can actually, like, use this thing. <laughs> well, we're already off to a great start. We've got Search Protect by Conduit has encountered a problem and needs to close. So, uh, mm, good. <laughs> Legitimate software. I still can't use the dang mouse. Dang it. <laughs> it did slow down the fan slightly. Nope, looks like that DDU that I saw might be something else entirely because it looks like it's got a uh, icon down there in the system tray alongside the Skype icon. Okay, thank God, USB receiver. It's finding my keyboard finally, jeez. All right, let's see if we can have a mouse anytime soon so I can close out of the stupid dialogue here. Come on, maybe not. I don't know if I get lucky. It's just a USB human interface device, Windows. It's nothing special. No, oh, got the doo doo sound. Still searching. Any day now, Windows. No. They, oh, oh, hey, there we go. Got it. Finally. Yes. All right. Let's go find a look into this thing and see what's going on. Right, my computer. Oh, my gosh. There we go. She is not quick. She is not quick at all. Of course, I'm not surprised for only 512 megs of RAM, but also uh, Athlon XP. It's probably got like a crap ton of startup items, but you know, whatever. All right, so Athlon XP 2500 plus at 1.83 gigahertz with 512 megs of RAM, 32 megs of which is uh, shared for the video memory. I guess we could take a trip into Device Manager since I didn't do that with the Acer, but then again, we kind of already knew what the Acer had in it as far as the hardware was concerned. So it's not really like it was something we were missing out on. But I am kind of curious about the Device Manager for this computer, because I just want to see like, you know, what does it use for like integrated graphics and whatever, just because why not? Oh boy. Mm -mm. This is a high performance system, you know? Mm-mm. Very good. <laughs> oh boy. You know, honestly, I think for this kind of computer, I think I've got a graphics card that's AGP that might work pretty well with this thing. I think I've got like an old Radeon, like I want to say 9600 XT. That's AGP and it worked great in this thing. Replace this SIS, whatever the hell this thing is, integrated series of uh, GPU. Well, not really a GPU, but uh, you know, it's whatever. Um, what else can we look at here? I guess network adapters. It's got a Buffalo wireless LAN adapter. Those are pretty good. So wireless G and then whatever fast ethernet adapters on the motherboard. It's got a driver for the CPU. Got Realtek AC97 audio and just generic stuff. 
SIS USB, nothing really out of the ordinary, I would say, and a nice Western Digital 80 gig IDE hard drive, which that's nice. Though I'm definitely gonna come down here and I'm gonna tell some of these background things to quit. Oh, that's an old version of Skype. I remember when this was the current version. I do remember that, that was like 10 years ago. Man, I'm getting old. What's that? Oh, there's Bitdefender, what's that? Oh, okay, that's the SIS integrated graphics thing. I was like, what the heck is that? This is some kind of uh, wireless software for some kind of business. HP digital imaging monitor, indexing is complete. What is this? Oh, it's the plus dancers. I was, I was like, what the heck is that? That makes sense now, okay. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize that this was installed. I totally forgot about that. Wow, I wonder. Oh wow, and it actually works. Sweet. This must be like a pre-rendered like video of some kind. What other dancers are in here, Seth? Oh wow, this thing's actually playing them pretty well. Hmm, not bad. What other ones are in here? We got Kobe. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm just totally noobing out over stuff I didn't have as a kid. I mean, we had Windows XP back in 2007, and uh, that was until 2012, I think, is when we finally got a different machine. But anyways, enough of that. Uh, what other, oh my goodness, there's a lot of tray icons. In CD, I remember that program. Oh yeah, Nero's in CD, gotta love it. Heck yeah. Uh, there's a Realtek audio, there's the Logitech webcam. I actually have this camera here, this Logitech C260. I almost wonder if I tried to plug that in if it would actually work. Should open up the webcam software and we'll just check that out. Okay, it's set to have single click on the desktop. Oh my god, I remember this version of Logitech webcam software. I haven't used this in so long. Wow, I remember this. Because we had an ancient Logitech quick cam and it used this exact software. I remember this. Oh my gosh, wow, that really takes me back <laughs> to when I was like nine years old and we were dinking with this software. I know it like seems really childish and you know, sure, but like I remember this. And then I remember when I got my brand new from the time period, and I still have it to this day, this Webcam Pro 9000. I remember when I got that and it had a totally different version of Logitech webcam software that was way better, a lot easier to use. And man, that really takes me back because that, that webcam goes back a long time, like a long time. I got that webcam for like my birthday, I think, in like 2009. So yeah, that really takes me back. Or it might've been 2010 or I don't remember when I got it specifically. I know it was like 2009, 2010, something like that. Either way, man, that really takes me back, that webcam software. All right, enough nerding off about that that nobody probably cares about. What other software is installed in this thing? Uh, quite a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and sort it by names. So we can kind of go through this a little bit more logically. Ooh, there's your Bitdefender antivirus. There's the Buffalo. Oh, that's what that's for. So that's for the Buffalo Wi-Fi card. Okay. They had some kind of a Kobe uh, MP3 player of some kind. Has Cyberlink Power DVD, that's pretty nice. So that must have came with this computer when they uh, bought it, that would be my guess. Oh, there's the Hyperbull Plus, who remembers that from the Plus Pack? Interactual player, I remember that. There's that webcam software. What version of Office does this have on it? Uh, looks like it's just small business tools. They must have uh, installed Office, what is this, Office 2000? I think it's Office 2000. I might be wrong on that. Oh, I nailed that one right on the head. Microsoft Word 2000. Ha <laughs> ha. Man, some days I'm pretty good and some days I'm not so good. But that was pretty dang good because that was just a completely, completely random guess. Oh, wow. There's an old Bellarc Advisor. Wow. Nice. Ultimate Mahjong. Of course, that's what most people around here tend to play. That's old Windows Live uh, 2010. I think that's what uh, Windows XP got. Old version of Skype, old version of SIS VGA utilities. Select soft games, 2002 games. Hmm. I'm not gonna open that up right now, just in case it like doesn't work. <laughs> old version of Rap City, nice. 
Print Workshop 2006, nobody cares. Picture Plus, nobody really cares. Old version of Picasa. There's that Nero Smart Start Suite thing. Oops, that's the wrong t uh, category. Wow. It's been a while. I've actually used something similar to this, but it's been a long time since I've used it. But yeah, otherwise, um, that's about it. Um, sure. Let's see if uh, Firefox has got any stories to tell about the previous life of this thing. I guarantee you this hasn't been used since the late 2000s because, or maybe very early 2010s, because by that point, that's when a lot of software started requiring the use of SSE2, which the Athlon XP did not have SSE2, and as such, it effectively crippled this processor, and for that matter, the entire Socket A platform. And obviously now, 754 has SSE2 on it, but you know, it's whatever. Oh, it's actually got a way newer version of Firefox on it than I thought. It can't possibly be that new. It's not the newer, like, redesign that XP had in its final iteration. And uh, I think that went up to, like, 48.0.2 on non-SSE2 processors. I think that was the limitation. Oh, it looks like they had the generic uh, Mozilla start page. There's something that'll really date this thing. MySpace. Holy crap. I remember when my brother and my sister had that. Also, Skyward. I remember uh, Skyward was a system that our school used. I think they might still use it for attendance and uh, grades and other stuff like that. I think that's what our public school system still uses. Yahoo Kids. Study Island. Huh. wonder when they had that set. Oh, it doesn't show. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. Firefox 26. So they were definitely using this thing up to a certain point. I can't imagine they had to have had a good time using this thing. I bet it was like extremely slow. And I bet you the system was never really maintained all that well just based on the stupid dust being on that case thing. I'd also be curious to see this Chrome installer. Like what version is this? Downloaded December 27th, 2010. Accessed February 26, 2014. Hmm. Interesting. Obviously, Java 6 Update 2 on the desktop. That's pretty old. What's in this US English folder? Looks like a driver. Oh, I hate when people put the stupid address bar in, like, these really goofy places. I mean, I guess I'll give it this. It's, it's out of the way, and it's a creative spot for it. But, like, really, people? Okay, it's not locked. Like, put the address bar where it actually belongs and stop moving it around. I appreciate that. Yeah, this looks like some kind of a driver file. That'd be my guess. Okay, time to do the non-responsible thing and start digging through the data on this thing. So starting with my documents, what do we got? Oh boy, yeah, we got a lot of... <laughs> oh wow, we got MP3s on this thing. We got documents on this thing. Uh, we got... What's in the pictures folder? Oh, luckily no pictures in the pictures folder. Thank What's in the music folder? Nothing in the music folder, okay. So basically, it basically just has stuff in the documents folder and nothing else by the looks of it. Maybe there's some other spots here on the computer, but not that I can tell. Any downloads? Yeah. Basically, it's just Firefox, AVG, Bitdefender, blah, 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 some junk programs. You know, the usual. I wonder how much stuff's being used as far as this. Um, Logitech webcam software still in the drive? Really? Ah, no, it's stuck. Dang it. Come on. Ah, it's not letting me let go of the dang disc. Well, that sucks. Um, anyways. So how big is this hard drive uh, data pool? About quarter of the way full. All right. Not bad. No, I don't want it to run the software. It's already installed. Stop. Dang it. Ah, I got it, kind of. Come on. Let go of the disc so I can open you up. There we go. Okay. Got it. God, that scared the crap out of me. I forgot that was the critical error sound. God, that scared the crap out of me. I thought the stupid computer crashed. Anyways, uh, we got software version 1.1. So, uh, yeah, that really kind of dates that. 
I think that's the same uh, disc version that I've got. I don't remember. I might have had 2.0. Anyways, um, get back in your hole. No disc in the drive. Please insert the disc. Uh, I'm not going to. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Well, I think that's probably all we can say for now about this ancient Athlon XP system. It's definitely got some old heritage to it, and it's definitely, definitely going to need its software cleaned up. But at least the thing works, and it's not like it's killed itself, so I'll give it that. Um, but it's definitely, it's definitely going to need some work, especially because it's got a... Uh, stuff on here i'd kind of like to hang on to particularly the uh, microsoft plus although you could definitely reinstall that but you know since it's already got it installed why not right anyways uh let's go ahead and get this thing shut down we'll wrap this video up since that's pretty much all there is to say so hopefully you like what you saw and if you did well then of course you know what to press if you didn't like as much well then you also know what to press get subscribed down below click the bell so you don't miss when i upload new videos and with that having been said i'm going to end this video so thank you all very much for watching and i'll catch you all in the next one